how many pairs of ribs are there in the human rib cage? Your options are 10, 12, 14 or 16. The correct answer is B that is 12. The human rib cage consists of 12 pairs of ribs. These ribs are classified as true ribs, false ribs and floating ribs based on their attachment to the sternum. Question number 2. Which ribs are known as the floating ribs? Two options are first and second, eleventh and twelfth, ninth and tenth, or fifth and sixth. The correct answer is B that is eleventh and twelfth. The eleventh and twelfth pairs of ribs are called as floating ribs because they do not attach directly or indirectly to the sternum, giving them a floating appearance. Question number 3. What is the primary function of the rib cage? Two options are to support the shoulders, to protect the heart and lungs, to aid in digestion or to produce red blood cells. The correct answer is B that is to protect the heart and lungs. The rib cage protects the vital organs such as the heart and lungs. It also assists in breathing by expanding and contracting during respiration. Question number 4. Which ribs are considered as true ribs? Two options are first and seventh ribs, eighth and tenth ribs, ninth and twelfth ribs, or fifth and tenth ribs. The correct answer is A that is first and seventh ribs. The first seven pairs of ribs are called as true ribs because they are directly attached to the sternum through their coastal cartilages, ensuring strong support and protection. Question number six. What bone is the rib cage attached to at the front of the body? Two options are clavicle, humerus, sternum or scapula. The correct answer is C that is sternum. The ribs are connected to the sternum, breastbone, via coastal cartilages, forming a protective enclosure around the thoracic cavity. Question number 6. Hello friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on human rib cage. And this is the part 1 of this series. So, let's challenge your quality of learning. Let's see what will be your score from this part 1. So, do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of questions and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number six what type of tissue connects the ribs to the sternum two options are muscle ligament, cartilage or tendon. The correct answer is C that is cartilage. The ribs are connected to the sternum by coastal cartilages which provide flexibility to the ribcage 
allowing it to expand and contract during breathing. Question number seven. Which ribs are referred to as the false ribs? Two options are first to fifth ribs, six to eighth ribs, eight to tenth ribs, or eleventh and twelfth ribs. The correct answer is C. That is eight to tenth ribs. The eighth to tenth ribs are known as the false ribs because they do not attach directly to the sternum, but are connected to the seventh rib by cartilage. Question number eight: Which ribs are responsible for the bucket handle movement during breathing? Two options are. First and second, third to sixth, seventh to tenth, or eleventh and twelfth. The correct answer is C. That is seventh to tenth. The seventh to tenth ribs exhibit a bucket handle movement during respiration, where the ribs move outward and upward, increasing the volume of the thoracic cavity question number 9 what is the name of the joint that connects the ribs to the vertebrae two options are costovertebral joint sternoclavicular joint glenohumeral joint or radiocarpal joint The correct answer is A. That is castrovertebral joint. The castrovertebral joints connect each rib to the thoracic vertebrae, providing mobility and stability to the rib cage during respiration and movement. Question number ten: Which part of the rib connects directly to the vertebrae? Two options are head of the rib. Shaft of the rib, costal rib cartilage, or siphoid process. The correct answer is A. That is head of the rib. The head of the rib articulates with the vertebrae at the costovertebral joints, allowing flexibility and movement for breathing. Question number eleven. What is the name of the uppermost part of the sternum? Two options are siphoid process, manubrium, body, or clavicle. The correct answer is B. That is manubrium. The manubrium is the uppermost part of the sternum. Where the clavicles and the first pair of the rib attach, it forms the broad base of the sternum. Question number twelve: Which ribs are involved in the pump handle movement during respiration? Two options are first to sixth, seventh to tenth. Eleventh and twelfth, or all ribs. The correct answer is A. That is first to sixth. The first to sixth ribs show a pump handle movement during respiration, where they move anteriorly and superiorly, increasing the thoracic cavity's depth. Question number thirteen. What is the smallest and narrowest part of the sternum? Two options are body of sternum, manubrium, siphoid process, or angle of Lewis. The 
The correct answer is C that is Cified process. The Cified process is the smallest narrowest part of the sternum and it serves as a point of attachment for muscle involved in respiration and abdominal movement. Question number 14. How many floating ribs are in the human body? Two options are two pairs, four pairs, three pairs, or six pairs. The correct answer is A that is two pairs. The human body has two pairs of floating ribs. Those are 11th and 12th pairs which do not connect to the sternum or the other ribs. Question number 15. What is the primary composition of ribs? Two options are bone, cartilage, ligament or muscle. The correct answer is A that is bone. These are primarily composed of bone tissues which gives them the strength needed to the protect internal organs like the heart and the lungs. Question number 16. Which rib articulates directly with the manubrium of the sternum? Two options are first, second, third, or fourth. The correct answer is A that is first rib. The first rib directly articulates with the manubrium of the sternum providing solid support to the upper thoracic region. Question number 17. What separates the ribs from the lungs? Two options are pleura, diaphragm, pericardium or mediastinum. The correct answer is A that is pleura. The pleura is a membrane that surrounds the lungs, providing a protective cushion and preventing friction between the lungs and the ribs during breathing. Question number 18. The rib cage is a part of which skeletal division? Two options are Appendicular skeleton, axial skeleton, cranial skeleton, or pelvic skeleton. The correct answer is B that is axial skeleton. The rib cage is a part of the axial skeleton, which includes the skull, vertebral column, and rib cage, providing central support and protection for vital organs. Question number 19. The coastal groove is located on which side of the rib? Two options are superior, inferior, medial or lateral. The correct answer is B that is inferior. The coastal groove is located on the inferior side of the rib and houses, the intercoastal nerves and blood vessels, providing protection and support to these structures. Question number 20. What is the rib cage's primary role during breathing? Two options are expand and contract the lungs, protect the diaphragm, control heart rate or none of the above. 
the correct answer is a that is expand and contract the lungs during breathing the rib cage expands and contracts helping to increase and decrease the volume of the thoracic cavity which allows air to move in and out of the lungs question number 21 the angle between the manubrium and the body of the sternum is called as two options are sternocostal angle costo vertebral angle angle of louis or costal angle the correct answer is c that is angle of louis the angle of louis is the junction between the manubrium and the body of the sternum it is a landmark used to locate the second rib and other anatomical structures question number 22 what connects the ribs to the thoracic vertebrae options are costal cartilages ligaments tendons or costo vertebral joints the correct answer is d that is costo vertebral joints the ribs are connected to the thoracic vertebrae by costo vertebral joints which allow for a degree of movement necessary during respiration question number 23 how do false ribs differ from the true ribs the options are they are shorter they do not attach directly to the sternum they attach to the sternum with tendons or they are part of the appendicular skeleton the correct answer is b that is they do not attach directly to the sternum false ribs those are 8th and 10th do not have a direct attachment to the sternum instead they connect to the 7th rib via costal cartilages question number 24 the rib cage expands during which phase of the respiration options are inhalation exhalation both inhalation and exhalation or neither the correct answer is a that is inhalation the rib cage expands to increase the volume of the thoracic cavity allowing air to fill the lungs question number 25 What is the common name for the thoracic cage? Two options are skull, rib cage, pelvis, or vertebral column. The correct answer is B. That is rib cage. The rib cage or thoracic cage is a structure made up of ribs, the sternum, and vertebrae. designed to protect the thoracic organs like the lungs and heart time is to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you